Okay, hi everyone. Um, so my name's Christina and I am work and I'm from Bird's Eye View. Usually you have my colleague Mia here with you, but she couldn't be with you tonight, so you've got me. Um, and I just wanted to say a quick hello before I hand over to Ruby, who's going to teach us how to moon, min moon minify ourselves. Um, if you don't know us, we're Bird's Eye View and we are a charity whose mission is to bring ever greater audiences to films by women. And we're currently supporting the UK release of the film Tuva, uh, which is a biopic about the Finnish Swedish creator of the iconic Moon Men's, uh, Tuva Jansen. So um, we really want to encourage you to see it, see it in cinemas. It's also available on Curzon Home, Home Cinema at the moment. So do see it if you can. We really recommend it. And um, we'll also be posting information in the chat about where to watch if you need it. And um, we also will have live captions for you if you need it. So you can click on that link there in the chat and you'll get live uh, real-time captions if you need them um, and I think with that I'm going to hand over so we can get straight into it to Ruby who's actually Bird's Eye View's neighbour. We work in the same community space, Boxwell Gardens Community Centre, so we work next to each other so she's our friend and um, she's going to teach us how to create our own Moon Min portrait in the style of Tuva Janssen. So over to you, Ruby. Thank you. And I'm going to be here doing it with you. So Yeah, that's great, Christina. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm Ruby Wright. I'm an illustrator and artist and a big fan of Tuva and of the Moon Mins. And I really, really enjoyed watching the film Tuva. Um, so do go and see it if you haven't already, but maybe... Maybe some of you have. Um, so Bird's Eye View asked me to do a workshop to do with the film. And I thought, well, one of the things that really struck me about the film was that Tuva based a lot of her Moomin characters on people she knows or knew. Um, so Moomin Mama was her mum and Moomin Papa was her dad. And I think that, well, I think we all think that Moomin is Tuva herself. But she also appeared as, um, as another character, um, which you'll see in the film if you, if you watch it. I'm going to share my screen and um, just just show you a few little images. So here we go. So um, these are just four of the full colour images um, that Tuvi Anson did. And one of the things that I love about her work is that she um, she is a very limited colour palette. So in this slide you can see um lots of colors obviously but if you look at each individual drawing she's only got about um she's only got about three or four colors in each one so i think when we're doing our portraits tonight it'd be good to think about um maybe choosing two or three maybe four colors um i'm probably going to use the primaries some blue and red and um yellow with a bit of black which is quite nice but she's got beautiful pinks and blues there anyway uh, that's just a sort of overview um, of her but anyway in the film you'll see that she draws these characters called Thingami and Paul, who uh, they've got their private own private language, and also they carry around a ruby, a magic ruby in a case. It's their secret, and it and they are based on her, um, Tuva and Vivika, who was uh, her lover um, for a time. Who was, she was a um, theatre director, and another person who is really critical in the Moomins, you will know, I'm sure, is Tutiki, who appears in Moominland midwinter and guides Moomin out of the dark forest. He wakes up in the middle of winter. He should be asleep, he should be hibernating. And he, he goes to his mum and she um, turns her back because she's sleeping. And so he's all alone in the forest, but this wonderful little, very optimistic, happy creature called Tutiki um, helps him um, navigate the winter and, and guide and find his way home. And Tutiki was based on her longtime partner, um, Tuliki. Tuliki? Um, I don't know how you pronounce her name really, but there they both are in their, um, in their beautiful, with their summer house, which is another thing that I think is worth thinking about because we might make ourselves some little moomin houses at the end if we've got time. So I'm going to sh stop sharing my screen and we're going to get cracking. So, um, I was hoping I could have that image up for you to refer to, but I think you're just going to have to use your memories and imaginations. And I've got my little Moomin characters here. I hope you can see some of them. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to use a big fat um, China graph marker just so that it shows up clearly on this paper. But you can use just a, a normal regular pencil is fine for this. Um, and you could even do it just by cutting out some shapes. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cover our paper and I'm going to time us for this because 
always quite fun working to a timer. Um, we're going to draw some moomini type shapes. So you're going to want some blobby moomini things, some maybe some human characters. Um, two of a light to top bun. I love a top bun as well. So you might want to have some people with top buns. And be thinking about yourself as well, maybe a little bit in this. What shape are you? And um, But we're going to go really, really rough. We're going to give ourselves one minute, 30 seconds to cover our... I've got a piece of A4 here. You don't have to use A4, whatever you've got. We're going to cover our paper in shapes. Um, and we're going to... Does that sound clear? Does that make sense, Christina? Yeah. Yeah, so any shapes that, any come, shapes that, come, that come to us. us. Humany shapes, animally shapes. I mean, these are the Hattie Fatners. Do you, you know the Hattie Fatners, Christina? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't I mean I don't even know they're not they're definitely not human and they're not animal. Yeah. They're um they're sort of strange little electric fellows, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but makes sense, thank you. Yeah, exactly. So um yeah, variety of shapes, spiky shapes, blobby shapes. Ready to one minute thirty starting now. She doesn't have any rabbits in her drawings, but I think maybe she could have. I'm going to do my top gun person here. And you could think about sizes and scales because some may be small and some might be enormous. And generally, her characters are quite friendly, I would say. I mean, they're, 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 they're complex. There's a lot of um, emotion and character in all of them. Um, but they're mostly pretty good, even though they might be mischievous or whatever. Um, we've got 50 seconds left. Not thinking too hard about this. If people have questions, are they able to put them in the chat, Christina? Yes, definitely, absolutely. So I'm going to be keeping keeping an eye. So if you have any any questions for Ruby, um, do do pop it in. Also, if you've got any um, comments about our pronunciations of anyone's name. Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been to Finland as well myself. Oh, you? That's and like I, up. Go on, what, what was it like? It was really, really lovely. And um, I mean, the highlight for me is, is that I did go to like a traditional Finnish sauna. Um, and I did go to the Moonman Cafe, actually. Good. That's good. Right. It'd be upsetting if there was no Moomin action. No, there, certainly, there was much Moomin action, actually. <laughs> um, okay. Right, Christine, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some faces and we're going to give ourselves two minutes for this. So don't think too hard. We're going to, um, we're just going to, so what I want you to think about though is variety of expression. Um, so not all of them happy, not all of them cross, whatever. Um, Tuva used this nice, she's got these nice noses. Uh, they're very, very um, reminiscent of the moon. Can you see? She's uh, it, human characters seem to have this. I don't even know what shape you'd call that. Hattie Fatners have got no noses. moomin has got no nose, really. He's got a sort of snout. <laughs> um, if you've got some human characters, maybe try and give them that nose because that's a really Tuverish thing. Okay, two minutes starting now. I'm doing mine in red. I don't want to do it in red. I'm going to do it in blue. Okay, so we can we can introduce colour now. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Who's your colour? One colour. Okay. And our oh, eyes, sorry, go on. We're adding faces to our shapes. We're adding faces to our shapes. And her eyes tend to be round circles with dots in, often looking in a direction. Uh, but little Mai, who's um, often quite cross, she has these, her eyes are, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're half closed in a cross way. Yeah. They're quite She's just the little... Um, Diva. She's a diva, exactly. I'm going to do a little, a little cross one. And Stinky here has got quite nice teeth. Love Stinky. Now, not all of these are going to be successful. Doesn't matter.
Might, somebody might have some whiskers. So were there women's everywhere in Finland? There really was. Yeah. And um, I, th I would actually say that um, moon mins are a kind of Nordic symbol, aren't they? Um, so influential. Not Finland. No, I would say they're popular. Um, uh, that's 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 my interpretation. Yeah, there might be some purists out there, but they were certainly. Um, were they first published in um, Sweden? Yes, in Swedish, anyway. Okay, yeah. those are two minutes up. Are you are you feeling like you've got some faces there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Yeah. Good. Can I see? <laughs> yes. Um, I'm just disclosure, and this is for everyone at home as well. I'm no artist. I enjoy I enjoy it, but I mean they're actually probably a bit weird. But no, no, that's not. Oh wow, brilliant! I like that you've got some color on there. They're fantastic. I think that the yeah they've all got a tuverishness. They definitely. do. Yeah, they do. Fantastic. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is accessorise them. Because often, these characters have an object. They carry an object that um, maybe says something about their profession or their interests. Um, or maybe it's a sort of comfort object. So little Mai's often got an umbrella, but she uses it to fly. So if you can, give them each an object. And if you can't, if they don't need an object, because they don't speak, it doesn't speak object to you, you can give them some accessories or some item of clothing just something about them that makes that is sort of distinct that will that will catch your eye i suppose something that when you see that maybe even that color or that pattern and um, we'll start to associate it with your creature and i'm going to give us four well i was going to give us four minutes maybe that's too long what do you think oh i think that's good yeah is that good yeah okay if, if it's too long i'll tell you what i'll do three as a compromise going there and I'm going to do it in another colour. So now I'm going to bring in my red, I think. So um, sometimes, oh yeah, and you could add little hands, like if they haven't got any hands, like I'm this lady here, and she's going to have, she's going to be holding something in a slightly worried way. And you can also begin to think now about whether any of these characters, you're beginning to identify with any of them more than the others. And what it might be that... Um, that's making you identify with them. I always feel like I kind of identify with the worried ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know Ruby off the top of you know you know Snuffkin? Yeah. What what was did Snuffkin have an object? He's got a hat his hat. Oh and yeah, that's has a pipe. Oh yes. Um and he's got a harmonica. He's very free spirited kind of yeah. um yeah. That's right, he doesn't like to be tied down, exactly. And um, he was based on, I've forgotten the guy's name, in the film, it's the, it's the man she has the relationship with at the beginning. Ah, oh, really? Called Atos, he was, um, he was a journalist. Yes. And an academic, I think. Okay. Maybe this little guy's gonna have a pipe. I think it's wonderful that you know she sort of in a way it was kind of therapy, you know, being able to put these people that she had that she knew into her books. And you can sort of she could be the master of her destiny with them then. I bet she had a nice life. Mm. Well, what a lovely tribute as well to someone yeah. you know. Yeah, exactly. I know. Or someone that you love as well, because they were yeah. all the people that were the most meaningful to it's her. It's true. It's true. And also, I guess because she was gay and it was not, you yeah. know, not easy to be able to express that in this sort of secret way. It's very powerful. Yes. Oh, and I'll tell you what else is very um, iconically Tuva is these little boots. She does these. I'll try and draw someone here. These very sweet little boots. Oh, yes. Got yes. Got little heel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some laces. I 
I'm loving your sort of like glamorous fish esque. Oh yeah, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I'm sitting finding I'm finding that one quite glamorous. Oh yeah, well, maybe that's the one I'll um I'll I'll continue with. Oh, that's our time up. Are you okay to stop or do you want to have another 30 seconds? I personally, I actually, you know what? I'm just going to really quickly give one of my characters a quick. Yeah, do, I can do more to mine. A quick object. Yeah, exactly. What object? I haven't done any objects. I feel like somebody needs a tool. This is going to Go on. really weird, but I want to give one of my characters like a sort of cat. Carafe? What am I saying that right? You know those oh, a carafe. Oh god, a carafe. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, you, wine. Yeah, I yeah, want that's to... a nice idea. That's a great idea. I don't know how to do one successfully though. But I'm trying not to be held back by my own judgment. Don't don't even think about it. Basically, they're sort of thinner at the top than they are at the bottom. Exactly. That's all you need to think about, really. Okay. Some furry ones. Well, it's interesting doing it because I practice this, but doing it when I'm talking to you is is different. It feels more um slightly more out of my subconscious, which is fun. <laughs> okay. Is there one on your page that's really screaming to you? Um, yeah, well I think this this one. Yeah is i mean there's oh, there's the um <laughs> minuscule uh car carafe <laughs> yeah but yes this this um oh i've got a bit really shame the dyslexia quite hard isn't it to uh that that this sort of uh, crocodile kind of guy really? yeah lovely has it got it does its body end at the end of its head or do you think it continues is that is that are we seeing the whole of it I think so. Yeah, great. Okay, brilliant. I wasn't sure if it was... Um, <laughs> I think so. Out, maybe it does play that. That's quite brilliant. Right, now look, we're going to draw ourselves now. So, fresh piece of paper. And you need two pencils for this, one in each hand. And it doesn't matter if they're different colours or the same colour. And can you see yourself? Yes. You're, yeah, you've got a mirror. I'm going to use the screen. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to use two pencils. We're going to draw at once. So you can either try and make them move independently, but you want them really to be moving at the same time rather than letting one do some work and then the other. But I think probably because you've got a face and it's symmetrical, you can probably, that's what you'll, you'll probably end up doing is doing the lines at the same time symmetrically. So we're going to do this for one minute and 30 Oh, not an hour. One minute, 30 seconds. And I want you to think about when you're looking at yourself, um, think about how much space there is between the side of your eye and the side of your head. That's going to help you get things in proportion a bit. It doesn't really matter, but it's quite a useful measurement. Um, and distance between nose, lips, bottom lips, chin. You might want a bit of neck. One minute. 30 seconds, starting now. I'm going to start with my fringe, I think. Move this over a bit. It's quite useful having a frame on your face. Why the two pencils, Ruby? Or is there... Because you're using both sides of your brain if that's really ah. true. but it's meant to get your whole brain moving and also you can't have that much control yeah so you can't get too tight Got it. and it's about looking at the looking at yourself rather than what you're actually creating because it's going to be quite weird i've already put my ears far too high up my head so mine's getting quite picasso-esque great yeah i think that's <laughs> that's a good observation it's pretty mine's quite um, blocky, uh, yeah, cube, cubist, I guess. I'm going to have to sharpen a pencil in a minute. As I've got space, I'm going to do a bit of t-shirt. Do you have a 
item of clothing you sort of um, feel represents you? Yeah, I do. You. What is it? It's just a grey hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe your character will wear that. I just can't. I just can't get out of that grey hoodie. Really? So <laughs> Oh, that's our time. Okay. Can I see? You certainly can. Oh, great. Oh, brilliant. Well, I think that's already feeling very Finnish. Mm. Oh, I like the way your eyes are shut. Yeah, I know. I didn't that's actually nice. to do that, but... I quite like that. Okay, okay we're going to do it again. New piece of paper. Oops. And this time we're going to do it with one pencil. You can hold it in your correct hand. And we're going to do it without looking at the paper. So if you trust yourself, you can just do it, but you're just looking at your face. If you don't trust yourself, you can hold another thing over the top. Okay. And we're going to do it for one minute, a bit less time. We're just looking at our face. We're just looking at our face in the mirror or on the screen. We're not looking at our paper at all. Now, one thing that helps with this is not letting your, paper, your pencil leave the paper too much. So you might want to do it with just one line. Or you can try and mark, like, for example, if you draw an eye, you might want to put your finger on where you've just drawn so that you can come back. Mm. That point. But it's going to look wonky and it doesn't matter. Your minute starts now. And I'm going to go quite big. Detail's quite nice in these, if you can... Oh, I just accidentally looked. That's so naughty. Yeah, I keep looking at mine as well. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know, it's hard, isn't it? It's, it's compulsion. You can do this by drawing under a box if you really want to do it properly without cheating at all. Okay, I keep drawing these big spots on my T-shirt, which is not surprising, so I think they're going to have to make their way into my final character she does use eyelashes sometimes i'm going to have a go at some eyelashes wonder where they'll end up okay i think i'm pretty much done actually how are you doing i i, I think it's <laughs> Can I, see? I don't hate it it's great it's great <laughs> I love it. it's so characterful it is. Yes, I love I'm your sorry. eyebrows. Forgive, forgive the lighting here, but yeah. Yeah, it's great. Mm. You my, do you like my um, eyelashes <laughs> um, below my cheek? I didn't do my mouth. I just did, didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, the next time we're going to draw ourselves, we're going to think of, we're not even going to look at ourselves anymore. We're going to take what we've observed and try and turn that into a little moomini characterization. So it's really about thinking how do I see my nose how how do what shape are my eyes um what are the things that make me me like for you you know hair you know your hair being up might be a thing or it might not and your hoodie I'd quite like to see in there as well I'm gonna put my t-shirt in um so I think go big again if you can and, and also, yeah, you've done yours yours is very happy I would say like your your drawings are very happy so I don't know if that's how you feel about yes yeah. You're happy to represent represent yourself that way. That's what's coming through to me. Mm. So let's give ourselves a couple of minutes on that, I think. So we're drawing ourselves from our two portraits that we've just done. Exactly. Yeah, well done. Two minutes, starting now. And I am going to, yeah, so shape of head is quite important because that is going to, that is going to, yeah, I don't know, it just is quite important. <laughs> if you think about Moomins, the shapes of their heads are quite, um, they're quite distinctive, aren't they? I'm gonna remember my math this time. Now 
Now, if you've got space on your paper, you may not have. You can do as much of your body as can fit on. And if you were a moomin, your body would be quite small compared to the size of your head. So body doesn't have to be human scale. Say so moomin, think moomin scale. I'm actually going to turn my whole torso into a kind of down to the down to the um, mm. bottom of my hips. I think I'm going to stick a pair of legs on the bottom, little tuba legs with some nice little boots. I think. Oh, that's our time up. I'm gonna cheat a bit and go on. Yeah. So am I. A little bit. It's just smidge. Yeah. And I am gonna give myself a thing that represents me, which if it, if I was being truthful, I guess it would be my phone, because that's <laughs> what <laughs> I spend most of my time holding, looking at, <laughs> uh, interacting with. But I'm gonna pretend that. Um, that what I really can't be without is my sketchbook, which is a close second to the phone, and some pencils. Is there an object that represents you? Well, I am very, very, very attached to my cat. Yes, so great. I think I'd, I'd, and I certainly would like my my moving character to be have a have a cat friend so i'm going to put one in great no I don't know how much more time we've got, but um, it might be that some people want to carry on with this afterwards, but we might have time to make ourselves a house, mightn't we? Mm. If we lived in Moomin Valley, what sort of ha where would we live? Would we be by the sea, in the forest, um, in the hills? And I think what Tuva Janssen does really well is um, get light and dark into her images so there's always there's often often a sense of real homeliness but also there's usually quite a nice dark <laughs> edge there's usually dark clouds or there's a threatening forest and i quite like i like that combination of things now i feel like mine is not it's, it's still it's still a bit too ruby and a bit not quite moving enough so i'm going to draw it one more time much smaller and i'm going to make this face much more of a tuvery face I'm gonna I'm gonna get that nose, her nice nose in. I think I'm gonna probably get rid of the lips because that feels a bit too human. I'm gonna keep keep the cheeks, I'm gonna keep the hair and the and the eyebrows. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do next. Are you ready to do that as well? Make your yeah. smaller. And I'm actually gonna make my because I find when I've got a big piece of paper, I just like Fill it. Yeah, that's so good. I'm gonna no, that's a good idea. Ooh, lost sniff. Yeah, let's do a small one. I think this is Sniff, but he's a funny colour. Sometimes he's brown. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, he's cool. Okay, right. I'm going to refer to that drawing again. And we're going to do this quite quickly, just so that we've got time to get everything done. So, what three colors? Are, you, are you working in two or three colours? Yeah. I've got two. I've been, I've been going for... Yeah, I've got three. Yeah, great. So, you can draw in pencil first, and then colour it in, but I think I'm just going to go for it with the colours. And I'm going to take my um, red, blue, yellow. I'm going to go for it as well, actually. Yeah.
I'm hoping this is visible still to the people. <clears throat> I feel like maybe my character is has just arrived in Moomin Valley and she's like an observer mm. with her drawing stuff. I don't know where this red hair's come from. Hmm. Also, she doesn't have to be static. Like you could, you could have them running along with their little boots. They're all, they're often up to they're up to things, aren't they? Yes, exactly. I mean, it's just amazing how much character and life she gets into those drawings. I think, which is amazing. The way that I would describe Moon Men's mm. in general is just charming. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think they've got their priorities right. Yeah. They do. I've given myself pink hair for some reason. Oh, great. <laughs> Right. I'm going to cut her out. I'm going to cut her out and I'm going to stick her on something. I'm just thinking about thinking about what time of day it might be. I feel like I want a sense of home that's in the distance maybe with some sort of dark forest to get through or storm that's coming. And I think I think maybe she lives in a lighthouse. A lot of the, um, there aren't that many buildings actually in, in Moomin land, but they seem, tend to mostly be round, I think. Do you see lots of round buildings in Finland? I mean, I was in the capital. Yeah. But... But it was so characterful, if that makes sense. Yeah. Everything had its, um, yeah. So you're cutting yourself out now, Ruby. I'm cutting myself out. Right. And this is where I'm gonna start thinking about some colored paper, I think. You oh, can, yeah. can certainly draw the background, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna just for speed, I'm gonna do something with some colored paper. Mine has become just much more moonmiv as we've gone along. Yeah, good. That's because you're moonminifying yourself. Exactly. We'd love to see what people create. So um, if anyone wants to, well, if people want to share their stuff, um, we've got a hashtag, so moonminify yourself. Yes. Hashtag moonminify yourself. And also as well, I'm thinking that you don't have to be limited to this one that you create right now, right? You no. Can have, you can keep adapting. Yeah, exactly. And I was thinking it'd be quite fun to do a whole picnic, actually, with um, with all the people I know, like turned into moving characters. It could be quite nice. Right, so I'm going to make myself a little off. Now, if we're finishing at quarter past, we've got 10 minutes. So I've got some grey paper here, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and cut out. I'm going to try and make it so that I've got a grey sky with some sun coming out from behind some clouds. This might be a bit ambitious, but I'm going to give it a go. I think, you, I think you're up to it. Do you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't think I've quite, don't <laughs> quite worked out what I... Yes. So maybe we'll have some hills, and the sun will be coming out. Well, 
I know what I want. I want a little path, a path that's leading somewhere nice, a path that's leading home. Maybe mm -hmm. yeah, home can be, home can have a light on, I think. So I'm going to do a little window. Who's at home? Maybe Moomin Mama's in there making some delicious something. She's, ha she's holding her handbag, though, while she's cooking. Yes. <laughs> she's yeah. got her handbag. <laughs> That's what I remember, anyway. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> okay, I'm going to also quickly do some speedy coloured card. Lovely. Great. And also, she uses a lot of these tiled roofs. I don't know if you can even see that. I've had a little attempt at oops, some tiles on my roof. Okay, where's my sun? Sometimes she uses shadows and sometimes she doesn't, so you can do as you wish on the old shadows. And I suppose as well. We are moonminifying ourselves, but we can yeah. moonminify the people we live with. We could definitely. I think that's going to be quite cathartic in some situations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could definitely do my children. My son's always reading, so he'd just have a little book. And my daughter loves tiny things. so <laughs> And she is a bit like Little Knight in lots of ways, actually. She's small and quite feisty. <laughs> And she loves tiny things, did you yeah. say? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I relate. Tiny, little tiny things, you know, little things yeah. that got the Hoover. Mm. Yeah. A bit of strange sun here. I also have to say I'm cheating a little bit because I found some Moon Min stickers. Well, that is definitely cheating. But it is. But I am. Make you a Moon Min Land, instant Moon Min Land. Exactly. I'm not quite. I'm not quite as adept at the illustration as you, so I am just. <laughs> I've been practicing as well this week. Ahead of this workshop, I'm definitely going to practice it. I'm going to moonminify my boyfriend later. Great. What would his accessory be? Probably like a, a snack, like a biscuit. Oh, nice! And, and he'll be snacking. Yeah, lovely. A bit like Winnie the Pooh, actually. <laughs> Yeah, so if people share their things, certainly if they're on Instagram, I'll I'll um re share them in my stories. That's for we for sure. Right. That looks so cool. You're sort of adding layers to your... Yeah, exactly. And I think, and what's quite nice is she does these lovely, sometimes for rocks, she'll just have a shape of a rock and then maybe put some spots on it. I've actually got some spotty stickers I thought I could use. Or if you had a hole punch, you could cut out some, or you can just cut them out, this little circle. But she's really great on texture. Anyway, I think, yeah, this is, this is going to require a bit more work, I think, at home. <laughs> I lost you for a minute. Yeah, we're back. Yeah, sorry. Where is home going to be? I feel like I definitely need more characters in this scene. I've lost mm -hmm. my house. Oh, there it is. And also the good thing about what we're doing now is that mm. because th this this workshop will be here just indefinitely now, 
on right. Facebook and YouTube. So if you did want to revisit anything, then it's there. Exactly. I'm going to give myself some spo a spotty dress as well. Lovely. Inspired by you. <laughs> Are you cutting out the spots? Oh, Are you drawing them on? You don't, no, 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 you don't have to cut everything out. Drawing is fine. Yeah. I'm going to do some more. Gonna... I want to get more dark into this. Maybe she's coming out of a wood. Maybe, maybe I'll do some trees. Try and get a bit of light on these trees from where the sun is coming. Tuva used a lot of um, these lovely little, I mean, I, I think because she did a lot of black and white work, so she used a lot of just these little lines to do tone and shade. I don't know if you can see this on here, but we can't. I'll post it afterwards on Instagram. What's your Instagram handle actually, Ruby? It's yeah. Ruby Wright. Ruby Wright Lino, L-I-N-O, as in Lino printing. Cool. We're running out of time, Christina. We are, yes. But I mean, we can we can overrun slightly just while you finish up. Okay. And give us our next steps. Yeah. I don't think I love my character. I think I might redraw her. I do like her red hair. I must say. Ooh, okay, maybe I should keep the red hair. But there's something. She looks. She's a bit expressionless. I think mine. Did you manage to get your lovely eyebrows and um oh, you know what I did and mm. mine sort of got a little smirk. Oof, I, I, see. Think, I think I think mine is um laughing about something which is um Oh she's so sweet. That's brilliant. She I think she's laughing about something which she, well, she's having a giggle. Yeah, I think you're right. I think she's, she's got a bit of little Maya's um, feistiness. She does. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, she's great. I think mine needs more of that. I might even do a smaller. Anyway, you can carry on in infinitely decorating your scene with 
little strange creatures of the night and uh, beautiful Finnish seasidey boulders. Um, but yeah, it'd be great to see what people do if um, if they can post them. And any more steps for? I think just I mean you could you could add some tone. I mean it's it's definitely quite fun if you if you feel like it. Can you see these? Um, mm. um, yeah. So I've got some white on the trees and I've got some blue on the on the other side of my house. Um, just begins and then maybe she could have a nice shadow. So that's because I've done it at sort of sunset time, I think. Um, but yeah, often Tuva doesn't use any any shadow, so that's what's you know she's she's quite free about mm -hmm. stuff. So um, experiment. Look at the book. Look at the film. I think is mm -hmm. the thing. Look at the film and uh, think about the people around you and how you could mummify them. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll round off. I say thank you so much, Ruby, for your for teaching us how to moon moon mummify ourselves <laughs> and. Um, yeah, as we say, do put with the hashtag Moominify Yourself. And if you want to be really bird's eye view friendly, you can also do hashtag Retain the Frame. And uh, so we'll, we're will we posting in the chat about where to see it. Um, do watch it and um, just uh, keep following us. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much, Christina. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, I'll hope to hopefully see you all very soon.